Congressman Mike Waltz is a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Of course, he served as well. Just before we have you react, listen to Peter Ducey yesterday pressing John Kirby at the White House. Why should we believe anything that this administration tells us about anything ever again? I think we all recognize, and I think the Pentagon has been very, very honest with themselves about uh, the um, the challenge to, to, to credibility by what by what has transpired here. They're not even really trying to spin it. They've got a set of bad facts. But yet, I think the White House and President Biden think that this could just all go away with him saying, it's all fine, I'm cool, no, nothing to see here. How do you see it? Dana, I, the Secretary of Defense is a, is a position of special trust. This isn't like the director of the Small Business Administration. You know uh, that the Commander-in-Chief delegates specific authorities to only the Secretary of Defense. For example, uh, we just had a drone strike on the leader of uh, the militias in Iraq, uh, took him out. Uh, that was delegated to the Secretary of Defense. It happened the day before we all found out that he was in the ICU. So who ordered that strike? And how did that chain of command uh, occur there if his deputy didn't know, the president didn't know, and the Secretary of Defense uh, basically lied to the number three in the Pentagon and said, well, he'll be working from home for a week. So this is a major breach. Uh, this is unacceptable. And at the end of the day, uh, look, everybody in the chain of command in the military, from the lowest platoon leader to, say, the head of the Strategic Bomber Command, if they disappeared for a week, they didn't inform their superiors, and they misled their subordinates, would be relieved. Secretary Austin needs to hold himself to that same standard. I think it is interesting to think about what the troops imagine is happening here. If there's no consequences for things like that, why should they be held to account? Well, and, and by the way, just yesterday, the Commandant of the Marine Corps put out a public notice, said he's going for major surgery. He informed the public, informed the Marine Corps, and again, in his position of trust, that the Marines are well taken care of, his deputy is at the helm. That's how it's done, but that is the, the opposite of what happened with the leader uh, of the Pentagon, the leader of the military, and he needs to lead by example. Can I ask you just one last so very right quick question? Sure. They, they say I have to go, but can this avoid becoming a Republican versus Democrat issue? I don't think of it as a partisan issue. This is about competence. No, I don't think so, and, and we've heard on both sides of the aisle real questions about what happened here. Okay, Congressman Mike Waltz, he knows how to do 15 seconds, even less. Thank you. Well done. Take care. <laughs>